Hey guys, welcome to Grateful, where we provide one-on-one -on -one online SAT and ACT tutoring to students all around the world. Right now, we're going to talk about a quick last-minute SAT tip before the March 2022 SAT, and it's the idea of the altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. This has been sneaking its way into SATs from what we've been noticing, so it's worth a little peek. It's totally the kind of idea that if you weren't really prepared for this, uh, there's not a lot of ways to get these answers. So let's go ahead and get you prepped and ready to roll on your next SAT. So here's the idea. A uh, right triangle is a right triangle. It has a hypotenuse. And the line that I'm highlighting here is the altitude to the hypotenuse. You don't really need to know this so specifically, uh, really. But for those who are curious, an altitude hits one of the sides of a shape at a right angle. And therefore, it tells you how tall the shape is. So if we rotated these two triangles around and made them look a little bit more like this triangle, uh, we'll see that this altitude is telling us the height of the triangle. So we literally have the altitude to the hypotenuse because that line is hitting the hypotenuse. It's the altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So that's the boring part of it. Um, but what you need to know for the SAT is that there's a certain ratio that you need to use in this situation. It's A over B equals B over C. So I like to think of a caterpillar in this situation, but it's just a certain ratio. So for instance, if we had a right triangle with an altitude, and so I've got my right angle symbols, and if we already knew that this length right here was five, and this length right here was three, and we were trying to find the length of the altitude, using that same ratio, five over x equals x over three. And you can cross multiply that, and you'd get x squared equals 15, square root of both sides, and x would be equal to the square root of 15, and that would be the answer there. So that's how that ratio gets set up. Now, this one here, is a little bit more complicated, but still doable. Um, as opposed to a caterpillar, this one you could think of maybe a Nike swoosh. And the order of the ratio goes like this. B over C equals C over A plus B. So you see the little sort of Nike swoosh in there. And if we had an example of that, let's just say that we've got, once again, the altitude to the hypotenuse. But instead of having what we had on the left, what we had over here, instead of having like a T shape, that would be the reason for you to use that first ratio. In this situation, we kind of have like a little bit of an L going on because we're going to know this value. Let's say that one is seven. And we're going to know sort of information about this. So we've got information about sort of those two sides of the triangle. Um, and in that situation, we're going to say this over this equals this over this. So putting that into practice, that would be 3 over 7 equals 7 over x plus 3. And from there, we could cross multiply and solve. So, you know, 3 times x plus 3 equals 7 times 7, which is 49. And from there, we would just solve for x. So it's a matter of having these two ratios memorized and being able to use them in different situations. So looking at a couple of examples here, 